my humble opinion, this has absolutely a stunning design to it, excellent safety, above average reliability according to Consumer Reports, and then of course on top of that, you have the Genesis Experience. And so let me start this review with first touching on the Genesis Experience a little bit. Essentially what that is going to give you is free scheduled maintenance for three years, free Sirius XM radio for three years, free navigation updates for three years, and a free valet service for three years as well. Essentially what that is, is you never have to leave your home. Even if you wanted to test drive a Genesis, simply call up a dealership, they'll actually bring it to your driveway, let you test drive it there, and actually do all the paperwork there as well, so you never have to leave your home if you wanted to get a Genesis. Same thing goes for scheduled maintenance. If you wanted to get your oil changed, they will actually come to your house, pick up your Genesis, get the oil changed, and then bring it back, and of course, give you a loaner in the meantime if you needed it. But that is definitely a pretty nice perk when buying a car, of course, and also free 24-7 roadside assistance also coming for three years, of course. But let's go ahead and make our way now to the pricing. MSRP is going to start at $55,250 for their rear wheel drive setup. However, there is, of course, an optional all-wheel drive, which starts at $57,750. Regardless of what setup that you go with, though, power plant is going to be the same. Powering this beast is a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6 putting out 365 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 376 pound-feet of torque available at 1,300 RPM. Power, of course, center rear wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will, of course, be testing out in a little bit there. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately five seconds flat with a quarter mile time coming in at 13.6 seconds. And FBG numbers coming in at 17 in the city, 25 highway for the rear wheel drive, 17 city, 24 highway for the all-wheel drive so if it were me i'd probably go with the all-wheel drive seeing as it's only a one mile per gallon difference and you can actually drive it in the snow in places like pennsylvania which is where i am filming this review of course but do want to mention to go along with that in case you were curious the g80 sport does take premium unleaded fuel or 91 octane or higher basically but so now before we test out the paddle shifters you do any kind of fun accelerations in this thing do want to mention there are some driving modes and that driving mode button is located directly behind the shifter what they include are going to be normal eco and sport so i did just put it in sport driving mode it did immediately downshift for me it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level giving me more power on demand that's always a good thing and so it's also going to adjust the throttle response and the steering sensitivity in addition to that so now Having mentioned that, let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters here now that we are pulling up to a red light. And to do that, simply flick one of the paddle shifters and we are in first gear and let's see how quickly they react for us here. Not bad, not bad. There's never so slight delay, nothing too crazy, but they're not bad, certainly not bad. It, the one thing I wouldn't have minded with the G80 Sport, at least seeing as this car is 50,000 plus dollars, I wouldn't have minded a little heavier duty paddle shifters like a magnesium setup. A carbon fiber is probably a bit too much to ask, I guess, but magnesium would do on these paddle shifters rather than the uh, silver plastic paddle shifters that we do have on this one. But other than that, paddle shifters certainly aren't bad. Decently reacting, but not the quickest I've ever tested, I will say that. But so now having done that, I think you guys know what we have to do next to give the control back to the vehicle. Simply don't even touch anything and it's actually going to just shift the control back to the G80 Sport. So we are now back in that drive mode and let's go ahead to find a spot to hit the gas that is clear and let's see how quickly we can get this new g80 sport 2020 up to speed there we go <laughs> oh my goodness wow that was ridiculous that acceleration it's a twin turbo v6 i guess i pretty much should have expected that but dang it's been a while since i drove this car that was amazing and not only that there's one more thing i did not expect these headrests if the car is going to throw your head into the headrest because of the pure power of the beast you might as well have a comfy pillow behind you because that is exactly what it feels like. I would say with the majority of other cars out there, like 90% of the other cars, it is a nice hard headrest for you. But dang, if you're going to have an acceleration like that, these headrests are super comfy. So definitely a nice feeling when you hit the gas there. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 14.2 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13 inch rear discs. As far as the brake feel goes perfectly fine for me today certainly no issues with brake pedal delay or anything like that and typically in my opinion Hyundai and Genesis really do an excellent job with their braking feel it really does bring you to a nice stop in these things touching on suspension 
and handling a little bit. Up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension with coil springs and shock absorbers in the back. Independent multi-link rear suspension, again, with coil springs and shock absorbers. Front and rear stabilizer bars, of course, but perhaps what makes this car the best when it comes to the suspension is the adaptive suspension system. Essentially, what that does is it's gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. And so therefore, let me first touch on ride quality when it comes to this ride here. It is amazingly plush. And I know this is one thing I've said in my previous review of the G80 Sport, because of that adaptive variable suspension, the ride quality is 100% on point. And really, in my opinion, one of the best out there right now. And I'm saying that having quite often reviewed BMWs and Lexuses and Audis and all in all, when it comes to ride quality, Genesis G80 Sport is at the top, comparatively speaking to those other luxury manufacturers that I've driven. So if you're looking for ride quality, this is definitely one you gotta test drive. But touching on steering feel a little bit, it is actually, of course, gonna vary depending upon the driving mode that you put it in. For instance, that sport driving mode we have it in right now is definitely a heavier weight to it as opposed to the normal or eco mode. I just put it in that normal mode again. It is freaking night and day, man. You can definitely tell the difference when it comes to the steering feel. Touching on cabin noise, once again, very much so on point. Of course, you have acoustic laminated glass that is certainly going to assist with the lack of cabin noise as well. So, well done Genesis overall when it comes to the ride on the Genesis G80 Sport. It's absolutely amazing. But then touching on visibility, we are in a sedan. You, of course, can see perfectly fine out the back. No issues there. Head-up display is going to come standard as well. And the cool thing about that head-up display is you can actually choose from a few different colors for it as well giving you colors like green orange and white so that is pretty cool looking at a lime green head-up display in our Havana red G80 sport that we have here today so that's that's definitely a plus rain sensing windshield wipers also coming standard and that's something that's really starting to come out of more and more cars these days it's one of those things where it's kind of like automatic headlights once the G80 sport detects any kind of rain or mist even it will automatically turn on those headlights for you so one less thing you have to worry about so you can better focus on enjoying the drive of the G80 Sport because it is most definitely an enjoyable drive not only on the acceleration front but also the ride quality as well so perhaps that is part of the reason why my dad recently bought a Genesis G80 Sport for all of those reasons combined but anyways that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Genesis G80 Sport all right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2020 Genesis G80 Sport. Let me first start up front here. You will find that aggressive mesh style front grille, very thick mesh, very nice look to it. And it's kind of a bronze look too. And if you're wondering about what that rectangular object is in the middle of the grille, that is actually for the adaptive cruise control system. So it is kind of nicely incorporated into that grille. You almost can't even tell. You definitely can't tell looking from a distance. So that's pretty cool. But let me elaborate real quick on some of these copper accents because you're actually going to find these absolutely everywhere throughout the G80 Sport. So for instance, the perimeter of this front grille is accented by those copper accents. Surrounding that, you have a dark chrome finish around that front grill and that dark chrome finish actually continues down below as well so a very nice look to it and it kind of ties in really well with the copper accents too and then you have a little more of that dark chrome finish towards the bottom there as well then continuing on with those copper accents you're also actually going to find them in the corners of the headlights it actually says genesis full led system in those headlights and again they're accented with a copper finish that definitely looks good and by the way speaking of the headlights they are full led adaptive headlights adaptive meaning when you're going around a bend at night they're actually going to swivel based on your steering angle better help illuminating what is around the corner so you don't go hitting any deer or people or anything really so that's definitely a plus too and of course surrounding them you do have those led daytime running lights to go along with that but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one dark chrome window surrounds of course to tie in with all those dark chrome window surrounds up front there's actually some dark chrome towards the side skirts there as well. And they are, of course, G80 Sport specific side skirts that come with this one. Also dark chrome accents on the door handles. I don't know if you guys can see that there. And they are actually LED illuminated door handles as well. And so you're, of course, not going to be able to see that during the daytime. But at night, that's going to look freaking sweet. Taking a look at those side mirrors, they are power adjustable auto dimming heated side mirrors coming in a gloss black finish. 
course you have integrated turd signals that are kind of tinted as well to tie in with that gloss plaque finish. So they are there actually. You can't really tell that they're integrated turd signals when they're not actually on because they really are incorporated quite well. But when you do have them on, they of course are there. Another really cool thing about these side mirrors at night at least is when you do open the door, that Genesis logo is going to be portrayed onto the ground. Nice big LED Genesis logo on the ground when you open the door at night. Again, you're not going to be able to see it in the daytime, but at night it's going to look it's going to look very nice. Touching on the wheel setup a little bit, they are a staggered fitment, meaning the ones in the back are going to be slightly larger than the ones in the front, meaning you can't unfortunately rotate them all that much. But up front, you will find 19 by 8.5 inch aluminum alloy wheels. In the back, 19 by 9 inch aluminum alloy wheels. They are a multi-spoke design, but perhaps my favorite part about the wheel setup here is the center caps. Look at this, you guys. You've got copper accents surrounding the center cap, which is a carbon fiber. I don't know if you guys, yeah, there it is. Now you can see it. Carbon fiber center cap with copper accents surrounding it. That looks absolutely amazing. A little bit different from what you're used to seeing on the road. So for that reason, I definitely love that. But let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one. Up top, of course, you will find that shark fin antenna, but then making our way to the back, LED taillights will actually come standard, of course. Also, in addition to those LED taillights, you will also get LED license plate lighting. I always like touching on those cool little features. A lot of times you don't get LED license plate lighting, so I did like that as well. Just beneath that, you will have that gloss black rear diffuser, and of course, to the sides, you will find dual exhaust outlets with quad chrome tips. So I think you guys know what we have to do next, as always, here is that exhaust clip. Alright, so now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear trunk, let me first start by saying there is a button on the key fob, so simply feel free to use that if you like. There is also a button by the driver's side left knee. Those are two simple ways to go about opening that rear trunk, and actually it is a power trunk as well, so it's kind of going to open up itself. But once it's opened up too, there's actually a button on the trunk. If you want, just simply press that and walk away, it'll actually close itself. So. All of that is definitely very nice, but once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 15.3 cubic feet, actually a decent amount of space back there. Make our way up to the rear legroom, that is gonna come in at an even 35 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there, plenty of space for me. Did what I also mentioned for those rear passengers, they really got it made back there, and here's why. Of course, you have rear ventilation, that's always nice. Rear center armrest with cup holders, but that rear center armrest has much more on it than just simply cup holders. Let me explain here. In addition to those simple cup holders, of course, you have rear heated seats coming standard on the G80 Sport so both rear passengers can stay super comfortable in the cold weather like we have here today. It's 31 degrees here in Pennsylvania actually so that is definitely a plus. In addition to that one of the best parts especially if you're a vampire you have rear sunshades not only for that large rear window but also for the side windows back there so rear sunshades completely closing yourself off from the outside world for those rear passengers that's that's pretty cool and they have full control over that by the way. They can of course open and close them however However many times they want, the buttons are all located for them in the back. Really a lot going on for those rear passengers, but of course it gets better up front. Up front you will find power adjustable front seats with power lumbar. Also, memory settings for up to two different drivers. That button's located on the driver's side door there, of course. And by the way, the seating will come with a Napa leather finish with copper accents. I love all the copper touches. I keep saying this. Not only is it on the outside, but it does continue onto the inside as well. And I'll get more into that as we go, of course. But those front seats will come heated and ventilated. And once again, they have super comfy headrests, kind of pillow-like. So that is a plus as well. Well, and here's one thing I wish Genesis did with this one. In the US here, the seats come in black and gray finishes, which is fine. It's pretty standard actually, but in Korea, where these vehicles are actually made, they also have a very nice ocean blue finish almost. I'm not sure the exact name of the color, but this is like an ocean blue finish to the Napa leather seating. And I absolutely love that. In Genesis, if you're watching this, please bring that color to the US because I would personally buy it. And I'm sure a lot of other US customers would as well. But anyways, I love that color. But nonetheless, tilt and telescoping steering wheel will of course come standard. It is power adjustable, by the way. Also very nice. It is gonna come 
wrapped actually in a perforated leather and the reason being is because it is a heated steering wheel as well. And if you were curious, that heated steering wheel button is located just to the left of the circular dial and buttons. It's all the way to the left actually. So that is how you're gonna start that heated steering wheel on super cold days like today. But of course, to go along with that, the steering wheel is wrapped in copper stitching as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and of course that button to pop the rear hatch. But of course it is all keyless entry. So all you have to do is simply leave the key in your pocket. There's actually a little dark chrome accented button on the driver and passenger side doors. You simply press that, you can lock and unlock the G80 Sport. And that is how you're gonna get in this one. And once inside, again, keep the key in your pocket, simply put your foot on the brake and there is an engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. It's open then once started up, tachometer is all the way on the left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center. To control what is on that digital display, there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side, but that is gonna give you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a compass up there, safety features. You can also adjust the color of your head up display through that digital gauge setup. And you can choose to display a digital speedometer up there as well. And you're also gonna be able to see your drive modes. So it's gonna tell you what drive mode you're in essentially. So plenty of information you could check out up there. But now let's make our way to overall interior quality. Definitely very on point as expected in a luxury brand like Genesis. Panoramic sunroof will come standard. That definitely extends all the way into the rear seat. So those rear passengers have a nice view of the sky. Perhaps my favorite part about the interior quality is the suede headliner that continues up the A pillars all the way into the back. I love suede headliners or really any kind of high-end headliner. It makes you feel like you're in a McLaren or a Porsche or a Lamborghini or something like that. And we have it here in the G80 Sports. I absolutely love that. Carbon fiber accents, you can find them everywhere, including just around the infotainment screen, which I'll get to in a second here. That continues onto the doors. And of course, the center caps on the wheels I was telling you guys about. So really, carbon fiber accents everywhere. I absolutely love that. Aluminum foot pedals come standard. It's the first thing I noticed when I got in this one to tie together with that. Aluminum sill plates as well with Genesis lettering, of course. That definitely looks good. Homely controls can be found on the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors. Home light controls are definitely something you want to because the alternative, if you have a garage door at least, is that little device that clips to the sun visor that rattles like crazy when you're driving down a road. So if that rattle does start to bother you, that's why home light controls are a plus, at least in my opinion. In addition to that, there's plenty of aluminum trim accents, of course, just below the carbon fiber up front here and that ties together with the doors. And one of the coolest parts about those aluminum trim accents, and of course the door sills is well but on the passenger side glove box here a lot of times manufacturers will keep that as a plastic finish but there's actually aluminum trim accents surrounding the perimeter of that handle for the passenger side glove box i think that's so cool it's all in the attention to detail at least when it comes to luxury vehicles so i can appreciate that just in front of the shifter you have a usb charging port and a wireless phone charger as well it's definitely a plus two cup holders just behind that and then you got all your infotainment screen buttons and i'll get more into that in a little bit as well as that heated steering wheel i was telling you guys about there's a small little tray area just behind that it is a rubberized finish so things don't slide around that's always nice and just behind that you have your center armrest with a very nice felt finish on the inside with a 12 volt power outlet and a USB charging port, a small tray. Perhaps one thing Genesis perhaps can add to that center armrest is make it a heated center armrest like BMW does. But that's just my small suggestion for that one. It's not really a big deal, honestly, to me, but this is a luxury brand, so why not just add it? Anyways, let's go ahead now and make our way to the tech display. It's actually a fairly large screen up here, 9.2 inches to be exact. It is a high resolution color touch screen display. And so there's two ways to control what is on that screen. It is a touch screen like I was saying, where there's that circular dial and buttons just behind the shifter. And so what I would recommend, the touchscreen is a bit of a reach. So while driving, it's probably better off you use the circular dial and buttons behind the shifter because that's gonna be a little easier access and you'll get used to it and it'll feel like home for you. But when you're stopped, that touchscreen is definitely more convenient. I feel like it might be a little quicker that way, but 
still a little bit of a reach while you're driving, so that's what the circular dial-in buttons are for. But nonetheless, Bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard, of course. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the G80 Sport, and therefore you have free navigation through your smartphone, as well as the ability to look and dislike your Pandora songs. There's a couple other compatible apps as well. Factory navigation system will come standard on the G80 Sport. And of course, you can check out your radio settings up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system here, this one will seriously impress you. Let me just tell you, 17 speaker Lexicon surround sound system with 900 watts. And that is ridiculous, you guys. You gotta understand cars like the Honda Civic, let's say, or the Toyota Corolla come with like 150 or 180 watts. This one has 900 watts. I think the only sound system that might be above that, Harman Kardon might do some, but I know Bowers and Wilkins comes with a ridiculous amount, like 1400 watts or something like that. But anywho, we do have the Lexicon 17 speaker sound system today. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Okay, my goodness, you guys, 17 speakers, the clarity was absolutely breathtaking. The bass, I, I don't think I've ever said this before in a review on the sound system, but the bass, you could feel it in the floorboards, the, like the bottom where my feet were, you could feel the bass down there. Of course, you usually feel the bass in the seats, you could do that, but you could feel the bass in the floorboards. That was nuts. 17 speakers, you gotta understand, not many speakers. When most sound systems out there come with the standard six or even four speakers, 17 speakers is plenty of overkill hill really so for that reason sound system is absolutely banging but last thing i wanted to mention on that tech display is when you do put the genesis g80 sport in reverse you will of course find a rear view camera a 360 degree camera to be precise and not only that the side mirrors will actually tilt down so you can better see what's behind you when you do put it in reverse but also that gives you a few different views letting you know what's directly behind you what's to the left what's to the right of you and of course you have that top down 360 degree view as well so rear view camera is definitely on point very high definition up there but that is going to let you know what is behind you and that is going to lead us into safety and so let me first start by saying the 2020 genesis g80 sport is an iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs so that's certainly an excellent start front side side curtain airbags will come standard as well as a driver's knee airbag up front that certainly doesn't come standard in every vehicle out there in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also back there rear child door locks but also standard genesis really does well with the standard safety a lot of these features will be optional on other luxury brands including bmw and mercedes Benz, but they are standard here on the G80 Sport, including blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and auto dimming rear view mirror. Of course, you have parking sensors, but perhaps my favorite safety feature on the Genesis G80 Sport is when you are in an accident, what this car will actually do is immediately, it will sense the airbags have deployed and then immediately call you. The car will sense this for you. And then when it does, it will immediately ask you if you need an ambulance or the police. So it will within like 10 seconds, ask if you need any help if you are in an accident and immediately send those emergency responders to your specific location. And it's going to collect that information, of course, where you're at from the GPS sensor that is in the G80 Sport. So that is an absolutely ridiculous safety feature it's one less thing you have to worry about trying to call an ambulance or a police officer for help maybe not knowing where you are on a long road trip or something like that that is perhaps without a doubt my favorite safety feature in this 